Good morning, guys. Today I'm out at Nardini Manor. We have a race again this weekend, which I think makes it about six out of the last, five out of the last six weekends, something like that. Anyways, we're out here setting up today. It's gonna be 105 in Phoenix this afternoon, which is insane. Fortunately, by race day tomorrow, it's gonna cool down to, I think, 97. This property, Nardini Manor here in Buckeye, a lot of memories. I was here in September of 2005, my very first ultra marathon, running this same exact course, 500 meter loop. It's great to be back and we're bringing this event to about 40 to 50 local runners here in Arizona. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. Yesterday, quick thought, I didn't film anything, so there's no vlog episode. But I had some demons to battle, I'm not gonna lie. I I was hit with a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting, and at least I realized what was going on. Um, I still got out the door, didn't get out the door until about 11 p.m., but I got a almost four mile run in, and I'm pretty amped. I feel good, I've got a good momentum going, and that's exciting. I'm gonna run every single day, and I could feel a momentum building for once, which is really, really great. And I'm not gonna let these uh, kind of bad feelings take over and get the best of me. I'm gonna beat it, and it's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, I felt great this morning. I hopped right out of bed at 5:30 a.m., even though I didn't get to sleep until close to midnight. So that's sweet. Um, anyways. Let's go check out Nardini and get this race set up. filming our very first legitimate Instagram story. <laughs> Me and Jubilee and we're wandering around the property here. We're not getting lost at all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess by the time you guys see this, actually I'll include this in the vlog. I'll include our Instagram story, but we're trying something new. We're trying to put a little more effort into it and uh, kind of film a little piece for the Aravipa Instagram. So let me know what you guys think, and we'll hopefully be doing more of these. Oh, and it's weird because we have to film everything vertically. So we're like like flipping it like this. Like Mako style. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Hey guys, welcome to Nardini Manor. This is the Hot Foot Hamster. It's gonna be hot and happening, and right now we are setting up, and we're gonna take you on a tour of Nardini and show you a little bit of how special this place is. 
So Hot Foot Hamster is gonna happen right here on this dirt track. It is 500 meters, it is certified by USATF, and this dirt track was built by Roger Rublik, who is the owner of this place, and it goes around the entire property. On that 500 meter track, then that means all the runners get to run around in close proximity to all of their supplies. We've got the aid station right off course here. We've got their tents set up. We'll take you a little bit around and show you the other amenities out here as well. So right here is the main house at the manor. This is Nardini Manor. This house was actually built over a hundred years ago. Inside there's a lot of the original moldings and floors. Some things have been remodeled, but for the most part, this place is pretty authentic. So you guys have seen the track and the front of the manor. This is part of my favorite part of Nordini. My favorite books are like Secret Garden and Alice in Wonderland and uh, Chronicles of Narnia and all of this is very reminiscent. You've got the stone uh, pathway, all the statues, all the fountains, the hedges, so many flowers out here. Everything's in bloom. Uh, it's just like space for days. This whole area is open courtyard, really great for events. I used to be a hurdler kind of in school, like eighth grade, right? Oh. This is not part of the track. Like runners are not gonna be leaping over the hedges. In the background, you've got the Estrellas and then all of this farmland, the corn is coming up. So corn maze and then um, this is the back end of the property. And it's like this beautiful stretch. So awesome. Okay guys. This is my favorite part. This is the hedge maze out here. The whole area, there's, there's flower blooms like everywhere, different colors, pinks, reds. Like this, uh, it's, I don't know, like very Alice in Wonderland. Let it go. We're gonna find the white rabbit. Oh God, I'm not gonna get lost. Damn. 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 What? And, uh, He's got it figured yeah, out. It is heating up quick though here. Yeah. It's supposed to be 105 today. It's, a warm. it's almost no high noon. So, uh, what are we doing now? We're going into the maze. It's my favorite part. Ta da! Here's not, the beginning of it. I'm not going to get lost Open at all. Open the gates up. Let's see. Right. Okay. Come on in, Jams. All right, we just filmed the maze bit, and now we're, we are stuck in here, <laughs> so. Um, turn right, right there. Oh, we can actually cut through to the course. Yeah. Uh, that's cheating, but that's fine. I know it's cheating. That's okay. Roger says don't do that. Um, this place is cool though, guys. Check it out. We got irrigation. Corn fields, so I guess there'll be a corn maze later. <laughs> and a couple sections are shaded, like this one. This is actually, you can feel the temperature drop. Awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, so we have maybe 40 people signed up this year. A um, little bit lower than we'd hoped, but I mean, this is basically a new event, so it hasn't been here in a long time. Yeah. And not a lot of people know about the magic of Nardini, but as you can see, it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> so, F Bob magic. I, That's uh, how dramatic uh, it is. <laughs> I can't wait to have a hundred people out here for the Jackrabbit Jubilee, which is happening September 2nd. Yes. 12 hour night run. Yes. Uh, everyone who's watching this, sign up, book your plane tickets, book your private jets, book your Ubers, however you need to get here. Shimo. Do it. Because this place is incredible. All right, guys, that is a wrap on setup here at Nardini Manor. Race starts tomorrow and it's hot as heck getting out of here. That's it for today.